To add to Britain's economic woes, the number of people out of work now stands at its highest in 12 years. Last month, 2.1 million people registered as unemployed and claiming benefit. That is 6.7% of the workforce. The Chancellor today announced measures to help job seekers aimed largely at the young. He said he doesn't want a lost generation of young people. All areas of Britain are affected by rising unemployment, but one of the worst affected is Birmingham. Our business correspondent John Sparks reports. At first glance, it seems prosperous and confident on the move. But Birmingham is struggling. It is the epicentre of the recession. More people have signed on here than anywhere else in the country. What's the job market like out there at the moment? Terrible. Terrible. It may have started with the banks, but it's turned into a traditional recession. Areas linked with heavy industry and manufacturing, like the West Midlands, hit the hardest. Well, it's really tough at the moment. Um, you know, I've been un unemployed now for three months and I'm just finding it really hard at the moment to find a job. The Bristol Road Job Centre was a very busy place today. It's no surprise, the unemployment rate in Birmingham is now 7.5%. The Chancellor said he'd allocate an additional £1.7 billion to help get people into work today, along with community work schemes for the under-25s. But there was little excitement around here. There's a lot of talks, but things are not always put into practice, so it's not very reassuring until it actually happens. Saying if like, they've been unemployed for a year, then they'll find like, work for the under-25, but yet again, you know, this recession and all this stuff, how they're going to find all the jobs for everybody because there's a hell of a lot of unemployed people. The numbers are bad, but ministers know that in a few months' time it will get even worse. More than 600,000 students in higher education will finish their courses and they'll try and join the workforce. And they're in for a difficult time. This is Bourneville College. There are 19,000 students here doing A-levels, GNVQs and hairdressing but it's not always easy to get the practical experience. It's not very good at the moment. I mean, I've just been laid off from work because I did used to work in a salon on a Saturday. And um, they've turned around and said they haven't got enough money to, they haven't got enough money to pay me anymore. And the final year IT students? I'll have to, I don't know, might have to end up going on the dole one looking for a job and um, building and fixing computers, which I do at the moment just to get a few extra pennies like. Discouraged if you don't find anything? Of course. Eat a bit. I'll just have to retrain and try something different. So you'll go back to college? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. If I can't do anything, go back to college and try something different. He may get the chance. The Chancellor said he'd fund extra places at colleges. A bigger problem, however, what to do with those who leave school with no skills. Simple community work schemes are pointless, says the principal of Bourneville College. Essentially, what you've got to have are jobs that are sustainable with giving career aspirations to people that are meaningful so that we do not have people who are necessarily doing, um, r occupying roles where, for example, they seem to be menial tasks. Arguably, the only way out of this recession for the West Midlands is through manufacturing, and many skilled workers have already been lost. When the economy improves, who will take their place?